Hey guys, this is Jennifer Brave. Today I am doing an episode that I am super excited about. I am going to be interviewing my daughter, Lily, today. Hi. I'm five. <laughs> She's five. This is her very first YouTube video ever. Lily, what Enneagram type are you? Seven. So Lily is a seven and today Lily wanted to come on and talk about what it is like to be a seven. So Lily, what is it like to be a seven anyway? It's really fun. Yeah? What's fun about being a seven? Well, the most fun part hmm, is that you get to do fun stuff. Is that you get to do fun stuff? Yeah, and like um, go re re in loop-de-loops. Loop-de-loops where? Um, <laughs> on a skate park when I grow up. Loop-de-loops at a skate park when you grow up. So what are some things about being a seven that you think that you think are really hard? Mm -hmm. Going to school. Going to school? That's true. Going to school can be kind of hard for sevens. What is it about school that you don't like? Mm. I really don't like nap time, but I'm not in that anymore. Yeah. Nap time is also hard for sevens. It kind of stinks because you have to sit still for a long time, huh? Yes. And then you have all the lights off and there's no noise. So actually, actually, there is noise because they turn on music, but right now their music player is actually broken, and when we were in there, it made a... Well, if you don't like nap time, what is your favorite part of school? Mm, playing outside on the playground. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you have any games you like to play more yeah. than others? Well, I, I really like to play Sprinkles the Kitty. So tell me a little bit about what it's like in just a regular average day to be a seven from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. What's it like? Well, some sevens like to like to um, go really crazy. That's actually me. <laughs> I'm that one. Yeah, you definitely do like to go crazy. If you think you could be any animal in the world, what would you be? Mm -hmm. A cat? Yeah. She's pointing to her cat. We have a pet cat. You know what I think sevens would be if they were going to be an animal? I think that they would be silly monkeys. <laughs> I, well, well, I would not be a silly monkey. You wouldn't be a silly I, monkey. I would be a little cute kitty. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so cats are your favorite animals? Yep. Why do you I like would... cats? Because I love their nose. You love you love kitty noses. Yeah, I like their face and their ears and their little cute face. Yeah. Yes, that's why my mommy thought I would like to have a kitty. So that's why we got my kitty Rainbow. Yeah, you want to go see if we can get Rainbow and bring her on camera? <gasps> Everybody want to meet Rainbow the cat? Let me go get Rainbow the cat. Hold okay, on. if see, it's my room is really dirty, but I like it that way. Oh, here's a rainbow. <laughs> Rainbow's not feeling like she <laughs> wants to stay. <laughs> so, Rainbow is clearly not a seven because she does not like the limelight. But you've been wanting to get on YouTube for a little while, huh? Because you've been wanting to make your own episode. Yeah, so I'm actually going to do a couple of these videos. <laughs> yeah, Lily wants to come back and join me for some more videos, but I thought today it would be really great to have her perspective of what it's like to be a seven as a five-year-old because the world is so much different when you're five years old, no matter what your Enneagram type is. Yes, my love. No, we can't do more than one. So Lily says she wants to do lots of videos today because sevens would love to get like eight million things done in one day because that way the day is not boring, right? So Lily, you were telling me about some other types of YouTube videos that you might like to do in the future. What are some other things that you're interested in? Hmm, actually I'm interested in coloring and art. Coloring and art? Mm -hmm. She is really good at coloring and art. She's really good at arts and crafts. And you know, like one of my favorite things about you is you can actually find trash like um, the bubble wrap and boxes and old pencils and strings. And you can create some pretty cool stuff. You've come up with some interesting things. Hey, mommy. She um, recycles for art. 
Mommy, um, I actually, I actually, um, am interested in, I actually like to eat bananas, too. She likes to eat bananas. <laughs> I don't really like bananas. Maybe you like bananas because you are seven and sevens are monkeys. <laughs> oh, careful. Careful you don't fall and hurt yourself. She's a six. I'm a six. Tell me what you think about the sixes. They work a lot in in sevens. Uh-uh. Boring work. <laughs> I hate you work. <laughs> if any of you sixes have work, I'm going to put the work out of here and turn the sixes into a seven. She's going to turn us into seven. I personally, as a six, feel like I'm okay with this plan because I feel like I don't know how to have fun unless Lily is with me or I have some other seven with me because otherwise she's right. I work like a lot. Actually, C has two sevens. Oh yeah, that's right. I have you and then I have my boyfriend's a seven. You guys are a lot of energy. Like you and Daniel get along super well. Y'all go crazy and then I'm like trying to keep up. If you, if any of you are a seven and you're watching me, I am watching you. She, she is watching you, just so you know. What are some things you like about sixes? Um, whenever sevens are with them, they the sevens go on adventures with the sixes. This is and, true. and what? Six, seven. So six and sevens are in the Enneagram, both squeezed together. Because listen, six, seven. See? Squeeze together. You are. So me and mommy are squeezed together. See? You are oh. absolutely correct. She's like an Enneagram genius. And and C is an Enneagram genius. She was working on this for like <laughs> 10 weeks, I think. 10 weeks, good God, I'm not that busy. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Mommy, I need to go get something. Please, oh, somebody. Somebody. One second. If you hear any noises, that's okay. Oh, cause it's a real drop. Bye bye. I don't know what we're in for. My fish friend. Oh, her jellyfish. This is Lily's pet jellyfish that she has in a little jellyfish tank. They're, they're my favorite. What'd you name him? Um, I forgot. We'll name them again. Name them again. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what would a seven name some pet jellyfish? Hmm. Eyeball. Eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really good name <laughs> for a jellyfish. So here's a good question, actually. Um, I wanted to ask you, think about all the Disney princesses that you know. Which ones do you think are the most like you? Like, if you were going to be a Disney princess, which well, one do you think you would be? I think I would be Ariel because she's really explorative. Can you remember her? She's really explorative and... She explores the ocean, and when they were singing a song, Ariel was out exploring with her pet fish. Flounder? Mm -hmm. Fun fact, for those of you that are Disney fans, Ariel, the Disney princess, is also a seven, and Flounder, her sidekick, is a six, like me. And actually, you know what's cool about that is, remember you and I were talking the other day, and you said that sevens are the explorers, um, but you said, I'm a six, and my job was to carry all the equipment and the backpack while you went exploring? Yeah, so that that that's that's pretty much how it works. Like the sevens run the show and the sixes are just sidekicks, you know. It's you know, she she's not wrong. Well, here's something very mixed up. Mommy is the sidekick. Oh, I am the sidekick. And I'm you know, the person who just goes in the lead. Or and I am very fast at running. I can run in circles six times. They're not going to be able to see you from over there. I'm okay. So you want to come and tell everybody about how sevens have like an ass load of energy? And how sixes 
have zero energy. We have more than zero energy. We just don't have the same amount of energy that you guys have. We we have me and Daniel have one thousand. That's the damn truth. You and Daniel have one thousand energies. That is true. And and mommy and somebody else. Somebody else. <laughs> they have um like maybe 90 90 i think it's fair to say that sixes probably have like a two digit number energy but sevens definitely like four digits or more for sure sometimes i have to borrow some to survive my own life i can give you some hit me with the energy hit me hit me again i didn't get enough bam oh that is it i am wired like I had a cup of coffee, because I got some of this energy right here. <laughs> you took some of my energy. You took a lot of my energy. So so now I just got some more, because I talk a lot. La, 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 la. We're going to talk about something else I think people are going to want to know about, because I think you have a very special thing that you could teach other kids. Hmm. Let me think. Of, let me think and say what question I want to see to myself. Are you going to ask yourself a question? Are you interviewing yourself? <laughs> so you and I have been working on like what to do when we feel anxious. And there are a lot of other little kids out there that feel anxious, just like you and me. And so we've been Mommy, working... Mommy, actually, all the kids that feel anxious, I can help. I know lots of things about doing that. She is really good. Tell yeah. some things you've learned about, learned to do when you feel anxious. Well, I can do mindfulness exercise. Mm -hmm. If if any of you know that stuff, um, then then text us back. Text us back. Yeah. You want them to send me a text if they know what mindfulness is. Yeah. Text mindfulness to two zero zero two zero zero. And and if you and if you and if you like know how to um. Uh, if you know how to play guitar, do you want to play them a song? <gasps> Let me go get my guitar. He's going to go get it. You're in for a treat. This is right here. If this song that you are about to hear does not alleviate your anxiety, are you even anxious? Like, really? If you're if you're anxious, I'm going to play the perfect song for you. Word. I got mommy. What? Yes. Take my place, okay? I'm taking your place. I got it. Just tell everybody about me. More, six, seven, six, seven, just tell everybody about me. So the six, seven combination, what you will find is that the seven is the seven and the six is receiving the seven. Sevens are really good about pulling sixes out of their shell. And sixes in return, I have found, if it's a really healthy relationship, can work to kind of rein the sevens in. You know what I mean? Because they need to be reined the fuck in. Like, we know, right? We know. Jesus Christ. I scared my mommy. Yes, she's scared my mommy. Hardy, har, har. It's mommy, so I can't. So when you feel really anxious, does it help you to listen to music? Does that help the anxiety go away? Well, actually, I know something that helps me a lot. Tell me. Snuggle hugs oh, with mommy. Snuggles with mommy. Snuggling with you helps me when I feel anxious, too. It's like one of my favorite things. It makes it go immediately away. So there you have it. A seven recommendation. If you're feeling anxious, find somebody to snuggle with. Um, you mean snuggle? She means snuggle. Huggies. Yeah, I mean, I mean snuggle. Huggies. <laughs> Not just snuggling. This is a very specific kind of snuggle. Yeah, yeah and if you if you don't know who to snuggle with, if you have if you have any stuffed animals or a pillow, hug it. That's a good suggestion. I like that. Or maybe a dog or a cat or if you have any pets, that's always a good idea. Or or hug a stinky sock. A stinky sock? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of advice are we giving on this channel? Now? 
I've got a professional <laughs> reputation to uphold. <laughs> Hug a shirt. Hug a shirt. Hug, just hug some. Hug a tree. Hug whatever. Or if you, need you to have hug. a lot of hair, hug your hair. Hug like your this. hair. I feel I like. I love your hair. I love my hair too. My hair is an umbrella too. See, Ray. I'm not getting even wet because I have my hair. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to say that hugs are really good for anxiety. Am I correct? Mm. Yes. What's your favorite kind of music in the whole world? Crazy music. Crazy music. I mean, the kind of music that she likes. It's called hard style. Hard it's style. It's EDM. <sighs> yeah, tell them to go look it up. What's the coolest thing about hard style? Boom! The bass. Boom! When the bass drops. All right, so you were going to play us a song to help us feel better when we have anxiety. It's only music. It's, it's not only any music. Word. That's okay. It doesn't have to be words. Music changes the world, sweet pea. Squeeze! Well, go ahead and play it. Let's hear it. I want to hear the anxiety relieving song. Mm, okay. Okay. I don't know that one, but I'll try. I'll well, do my best. What song were you gonna play? Um. Hmm. I'll look one up in my eyeball. She's gonna look one up in her eyeball. <laughs> my child is very occipital. Hey, we're almost running out of time here. You gotta play a song. You oh, wanna no. play a song? help to alleviate your anxiety? I think I need to show you something that I made out of stinky trash. Stinky but trash. <laughs> that trash is not stinky. My mommy loves it. My mommy loves this drawing. Let me go get it. I mean, I love everything you make for me. My mommy has a, has a, a picture that's called spit, spit art. Spit art. She did make a picture and she called it spit art. <laughs> Why did you name it spit art, Lily? Because it it's made of my spit handprints. <laughs> <laughs> so let me show you the first part. <laughs> well, they can't see it from there. You got to come around here. So my mommy loves this one. It's made so, of spit um, let me So let me show you the first part. Okay. This is where I put my loose tooth. Hold it up a little bit. This is where I put my loose tooth. One day when she gets one, she hasn't lost a tooth yet. Yeah. See, um. Got them all in there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, ten, twenty. I think I got all of them. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they're all so bootyful. Because I brushed them with eyeball toothpaste. That is right. Brush, <laughs> floss. And use mouthwash. And I got my soaps. own mouthwash. She has can, her own mouthwash. Can I, I can sew them? Um, you can, but and you're... and this is me and my mommy's name. See. So here, I don't know if they can. Here, let's hold it up and see. Okay, they already saw. I'm gonna go get my mouthwash so I can sew them. My mouthwash. Oh man. Hmm. So, anyways. I got them on my teeth stuff. Oh, we're going to get to see the whole collection. All right, here so we I go. So I got this Princess Poppy toothpaste. Yeah, princess Pop toothbrush. It's a toothbrush. <laughs> here, here. So I'll, hold, I'll princess, hold it. I'll hold it. That's Princess, right, princess Poppy princess right there. Princess Poppy toothbrush here. All right. And I got some other things. Okay, let's see. Uh, you want me to hold it while you show them all your stuff? And then. Uh, and well, I let got... me at least hold the, the toothbrush. Don't put that on the ground. You don't want that to to get on the ground. <gasps> and I got this toothpaste, this Paw Patrol, and it tastes super good. Hey, I just said on the ground. Happy birthday on the ground. She doesn't know what that means. 
All right, so once again, my name is Jennifer Brave. This is my daughter, Lily, representing the Seven community in all of the best ways possible today. Lily, is there anything that you would like to say as a Seven, just maybe one thought about Seven? Do you wanna leave the whole wide world who's watching this now? If you ever need help being anxious, text text us back and then and then and then I'll send back a song. And that and then you can listen to it and add it to your list. Thank you for watching. Bye. Wanna press the button? Press right here to stop it.